you can be a change maker. You can be liked by everyone around you. You don't get to do both. We live in a society that loves to be liked. We seek likes on the social media. We want people to follow us. We want everyone around us to applaud us. We have this deep-seated fear of conflict. Okay, but now we are in the modern world. We want to innovate. We want to be A players. We want to own our craft. We want to bring on our best. And yet, we have this deep need of rising above the cult of average. And we live in a world right now where there are so few people willing to be disliked. Here's another idea I want you to wire in as a core belief. Every visionary was once ridiculed before they were revered. I mean, the impossible is generally the untried. But here's the thing. When you are a visionary, you have these brave ambitions. You get this incredible idea. Your instinct says, this is going to make history. And then people start laughing at you. And you start getting ridiculed. Because the very nature of innovation and a beautiful idea means you're going to disrupt the marketplace or you're going to disrupt society. And at a deep level, that causes fear within people when they see a new idea. When you challenge the status quo, which is really what leadership and being iconic is all about, disrupting the status quo, whether it's in your marketplace, whether it's in, uh, if you're in, your, in your field of skill, you're going to be a disruptor. And so that threatens people, it makes them scared. And what most people do is they laugh at you, they dislike you, and some of them even start to hate you. And if you're really disrupting the status quo, they will kill you. You, know, you can be part of the majority, you can be busy being busy, you can watch all the TV shows, you can be like everyone else, or you can play in the rare era of world class. But to have the results only 5% of the population have, you must be willing to think, be, and produce in a way that only 5% of the population think, be, and produce. And when you do that, you're going to leave the majority, you'll leave the herd, and you'll be called eccentric. Be okay with being eccentric, because all world changers were eccentric. They were considered strange. They were called weird. They were laughed at. They didn't fit in, but it was good.